All right, everyone. We're going to go ahead and do my 29th game of my original run of Jeopardy for the Super Nintendo, in which at this point I have won $1,105,198. Oh, yeah. As you all know, my original run for this game is currently a million dollar run, whereas my current run is a four million dollar run. Let's see if we can add on to our winnings here. Let's go. Categories for the Jeopardy round are going to be music, science, U.S. states, animal adjectives, world of fashion, and finally, the Olympics. Okay? Start with animal adjectives for 100, please. When something smells suspicious, what is fishy? And we'll this for 200. Daily double? 500. 500. Something shabby as though gnawed by rodents. rodents. What is ratty? I'm up to $600. How about analyze this for 300, please? When you, what you might feel after spilling wine all over your hostess's lamb chops. What is sheepish? And watch this 400, please. Yeah, please. Stubborn. What's mulish? Oh, we'll go and watch this property. Earth sign synonym for surly. What is bearish? So I won $1,800 in that category. I ran the category. And I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to take uh, music for 100 yeah, And Anna's choreographic invitation to the King of Siam. What is Shall We Dance? I'll take music for 200 First name of composers Liszt, Haydn, and Schubert. What is Franz? We'll go music for 300. This word, the plural of opus, also means a drama that's sung. What is opera? I'll take music for 400. He was inspired by East Indian dance to begin to write begin the begin. I'll give this one to Jim because I don't know. And it was Cole Porter. Cole Porter. Alright, Jim, that puts you at four hundred dollars. You're on the board and you get to make a selection. He's gonna go to World of Fashion for a hundred. The hat and the Mexican hat dance. What is the sombrero? Uh, let's have World of Fashion for 200. Yeah, South Sea's Gar, born by Dorothy Lamour on the road. What is a sarong? Uh, let's have World of Fashion for 300, please. Yeah, Where on his body an Arab would wear the traditional cafe? Yeah? What is the head? A world of Fashion for 400? Yeah, After about seven yards long, it's the loose body wrap worn by Hindu women. What is a sari? World of Fashion 500. Yeah, the sash worn with a Japanese kimono. What is an obi? $3,900, and I ran that category. Let's go back to music for five. Donkey, Moonlight, and Four Streams, for example. What are... What are serenades? 
Yeah, that's right. Forty-four hundred dollars. We take the Olympics for a hundred. In 1984, he became the first man since 1928 to win both the platform and springboard diving events. Who is Greg Luganis? Uh, the Olympics for two? The 500 meter version of this is the quickest timed event in the Winter Games with a record of 36.45 seconds. What is um, men's speed skating? Just go with speed skating. Yeah, let's just put speed skating. That's right. Uh, the Olympics for 300, please. Put through there. This type of equestrian race was added to the ancient games in 680 BC. What is a uh, a chariot race? What is chariot racing? Uh, the Olympics for 400. After the 1992 Winter Games in Albertville, France, the next Winter Games will be held in this year. What is 1994? The Olympics for 500, please. Yes, it is. Competing in the 1924 and 1928 games, this U.S. swimmer won a total of five gold medals. Who is Johnny Weissmuller? There we go. I'll take signs for 100. Yes, it is. A sound's repetition by reflection. What's an echo? Science 200. He originated the origin of species. Who's Charles Darwin? Science 300. Yes, it is. Singular form of the word bacteria. What is bacterium? Yes, it is. Negative particle that orbit orbits an atom's nucleus. Oh, Jenny beat me to the buzzer. It's an electron. I knew that one, but too late. Oh, well. So Jenny's on the board. She's got $400 and it's tied with Jim. Does she want to close out the category? Yes, she does. Okay. Yes, it is. Cytology is the study of these biological building blocks. What are cells? That just leaves the U.S. States category. 100. A boomer, sooner or later, the one that's not an Oklahoma nickname, what is later? Because it's known as boomer, sooner. Two hundred. You can order various collectibles from the Franklin Mint in this state. What is Pennsylvania? Three hundred. The Colorado Desert borders the Colorado River, not in Colorado, but in these two states. What are Arizona and New Mexico? No, that is wrong. Jim. Arizona was one. The other was California. California was one. Arizona was the other. Arizona was one. California was the other, I should say. Yes, Jekyll Island is one of the sea islands off the coast of South Carolina, Florida, and this state. Oh, and I got beat to the buzzer. Let's see if Jenny knows this. What is Georgia? Georgia.
Last clue. The answer is... The highest peaks in New England are in this state's White Mountains. And I got beat to the buzzer again. And it's New Hampshire. I knew that one. So at the end of the Jeopardy round, I have seven thousand dollars. Jim twelve hundred. Jenny eight hundred. So she's going first in double Jeopardy. Right after this. Yep, we're about to start the tougher round of play, which is double Jeopardy. The dollar values are doubled, and we're putting two daily doubles up on the board. Let's see if the categories sound just as tough. Dry up, notice the quotation marks, explorers, books, people, bodies of water, and finally, food. Okay, these categories don't sound too bad. Jenny, you're in third place. We'll start with you. Food for 200. Prickly pears are plucked from this type of plant. What's a cactus? Uh, let's have uh, food for 400, please. Daily double. All in. Guinness says the longest pork one ever made stretched over 8 miles in length. What is a sausage? 600, please. Food. A spaghetti sauce made of basil, pine nuts, garlic, and olive oil. What is pesto? I have over fourteen thousand dollars right now. Fifteen grand now. Eight hundred food. The FDA forbids the use of the word caviar alone on a label unless it comes from this type of fish. And Jenny locked me out on the buzzer. God dang it! It's a sturgeon. Yep. Ah, nope. So Jenny goes up to sixteen hundred dollars. Takes second place for now, and is going to close out the category. Mangoes are a common ingredient in this pungent Indian relish. What is chutney? That's going to put me at $16,000 in cash. Okay. Uh, bodies of water, 200 Linda Ronstadt sang about a blue one. What is a bayou? Blue bayou, uh-huh. Bodies of water, 400 Yes, Name for the Greek nymph Io. This sea is the deepest part of the Mediterranean. What is the Ionian Sea? Body of water, 600. Yes, Rudolph, Albert, and Victoria are three of the great lakes on this continent. What is Africa? The Coral Sea is in this ocean. What is the Pacific? It is indeed in the Pacific Ocean. Let's close it out. The Gulf of Bothnia lies between Finland and this other Scandinavian country. What is Sweden? There we go. I'd like books for 200 yes, His books, Shogun, Whirlwind, Taipan, and Noble House have all inspired board games. James Clavel, yeah, I can never remember the name. Oh, well. That puts Jim on the uh, $1,400. Let's see where he goes. Books for 400 is this 1895 novel, subtitled An Episode of the American Civil War, was written by a 22-year-old. What is the Red Badge of Courage? Uh, the bo uh, books for 600, please. Elliot Roosevelt wrote mystery novels which feature this historical figure as a detective. Uh, 
features this historical figure as a detective. Who is Theodore Roosevelt? That's right. Oh, books for 800. Richard Adams' novel Traveler is a tale of a civil war seen through the eyes of this man's horse. Who is Robert E. Lee? Let's go with books for 1,000, please. A nightmare gave Mary Shelley the idea for this novel. What is Frankenstein? Twenty-one thousand eight hundred dollars. Dry up two hundred. You have a daily double. All. George Jefferson occupation. What is dry cleaning? Oh, come on now. Dry cleaning. Thank you. Dry, uh, dry up to 400, please. Ever ready, Mallory and Ray of Ack. What is a dry cell? What are dry cells, I should say? Go dry up for eight, uh, 600, please. English poet, author of Absalom and Achitophel. And I got beat to the buzzer. John Dryden. I knew that, but too late. Let's keep going. Explorers 200. He went from Palestine to Kublai Khan's palace by camel. Oh, come on, Jenny. You beat me to the buzzer again. Marco Polo, I knew that one. Oh, well. People 200. At 14, his magic show paid him $3. Later, he made millions of tonight. Who's Johnny Carson? There we go. Let's have dry up for 800, please. In the Bible, Ezekiel saw a valley full of them rise. What are dry bones? That's going to put me at $45,000. I'll dry up $1,000. Consisting of solid CO2, it contains no water. What is dry ice? There we go. People 400, please. His last regular newscast was on Friday, March 6th, 1981, and I got beat to the buzzer again. Dang it. Walter Cronkite, yep. Yeah. That's Jenny in second place, but they both, she and uh, Jim both trailed me by quite a margin. Looking too much like Haley Mills cut short this actor's composer's acting career. Who is Andy Williams? Uh, people 800, please. His obituary appeared in the New York Times seven years after he disappeared. Who is Jimmy Hoffa? Oh, I put a Z instead of an A. Dang it. Jimmy Hoffa, I would put a Z instead of an A. Gosh. Anyway. Closing out the category. Discovered by Bob Hope in 1949, this ballad king soon went from rags to riches. Who's Tony Bennett? Now let's go to uh, Explorers for 400. DeSoto, discoverer of this major U.S. river, was buried by it. 
What is the Mississippi? A lot of cash sitting in front of me right now. Uh, 600. Eric the Red called his discovery this to attract settlers. And Jenny beat me to the buzzer. Greenland, yep. Danish captain hired by Russia who made a straight line to Alaska. Who is Bering? Last clue. The answer is... English explorer and translator of the Kuma Satra. He shared his name with the late Welsh actor. Who is Richard Burton? And that's going to put me at $49,000. There. Jim and Jenny are tied at $2,800 each. Let's see what happens in Final Jeopardy. Regardless, what happens looks like I'm coming back for a 30th game of this original run. The category is Colonial America. Hmm. The southernmost of the, 13, the original 13 colonies. What is Georgia? Georgia! So I'm going to end up with $98,000 this game for a 29 game range total of $1,203,198. I'm going to see you all for that next video. Thank you.